what we're going to look at today is the art of frottage. Um, what you're going to need is some thin paper, like photocopy paper, it could be notebook paper. Um, uh, crayon works best, and uh, what you want to do is remove the complete wrapper. Uh, and that's easiest if you soak it in a little bit of water for a little bit and then peel it off. It comes off a little more easily. But you could also use a pencil or colored pencil. Um, but the crayon is the easiest because you get most surface contact. So Max Ernst uh, used a lot of frottage to create drawings as part of uh, his Dada work. And I want you this week to experiment with frottage. So basically what that is, it is the art of rubbing over an object and then the high areas or the relief areas of the object will create an impression when you go over the surface. So thinking about the art element texture that we studied a while back, uh, you might want to think about um, things that you see that have a visual texture because then you know when you go over it with the uh, crayon, it is going to transfer something onto the paper. Um, and what you need to do is just make sure that you hold your uh, object in place and then just go ahead and do a rubbing. Uh, and I'm gonna just do a bunch of different objects uh, so you can just see them lay out. But what you're gonna wanna do is just go around your house and you can see I've gone and picked out lots of things that I thought had an interesting texture. And you're going to fill a page with at least 10 different textures uh, for this week's assignment. Uh, you can also be more intentional with uh, where you put things on the page uh, and arrange them. You can see I cut out a piece of uh, uh, shape from a piece of paper and then I put some tape down here and so I'm going to experiment with how these things all work together. Um, but you can play with uh, the placement when you're aware of what each of your shapes uh, will do when you put them down and the textures that they'll transfer. And this is a really good way to create a base for a drawing or a painting because uh, like Max Ernst said, it's a lot easier to start when you have something on the page than starting with it just being blank. So I might decide that I want to add a little circle here. So I'm gonna just come in there with the tape and I can and you can see that you can easily overlay the um, textures with each other as well as you could change out your crayon colors and mix them up a little bit, which I haven't really done. I've only been using one color, but uh, you do have that option where you could use more than one to um, come up with something more like this, where you're really uh, blending the colors and coming up with an overlay that has uh, more colors in it.